Peace, 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 family. How you all doing? My name is Keisha. I am the owner of Ascendant Astrology, and I am your astrology coach. Today, I'm going to be doing my interpretation of Venus in Cancer, continuing with my Venus Through the Signs series. And so what is Venus? Venus is the ruler of Taurus and Libra. Um, Taurus and Libra live in the second and seventh house. It rules love, romance, money, beauty, your values, harmony, uh, what you are attracted to, um, and the things that are attracted to you. Maybe that is more Mars, but um, Cancer lives in the fourth house and is ruled by the moon, um, this also rules your mom. These people have very good, balanced relationships with their mom. Everything they learn nine times out of 10 is from their mom. Uh, now, obviously, you know, depends on what other placements you have and aspects you have to this Venus and Cancer that's going to make all the difference. But just Venus and Cancer alone, these people typically have really good relationships with their mom, they really, um, you know, nurtured them and took care of them the way a mom um, is uh, is supposed to. You know, the the depiction of whatever that is. Uh, these people really get that from their mother, um, and it also rules the environment that you that that you grew up in. And if you had a Venus and Cancer mom, you had a nice, comfortable, peaceful, uh, beautiful home. Uh, it could be luxury here. Um, again, I don't know. I'm willing to second guess this. Although, uh, if they just so happen to be with somebody who is a Capricorn, which is the opposite end, um, if it's just not super supremely balanced, um, they could have a luxurious home because you know Capricorns. They about making that money. They don't. They don't play about that. So. Uh, that's up for debate. Um, cancer rules home, family. These people tend to be home bodies. Um, and their home environment, like I said, is, um, I mean, they they really know how to make a house look like a home. You know, they know the interior designers here. Um, they could even be very, very, very creative. Cancer people in general, I think, are creative. I often think of their creativity, though, around food. I don't know why I'm thinking of Cake Boss. <laughs> but, um, you know, they just know how to make things beautiful, homey, nurturing, and, like, comfort. This could be even, like, comfort foods. Um, but they can dress that up. You know, you ever watch those 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 uh, cooking channels where people really just know how to make food, not just look delicious or that they can really cook. Like these people can cook their fucking ass off. Not even that. They know how to make that shit look festive, like a, a party, you know? <laughs> um, that's just how I view Venus um, Cancer creative people um they really these people are super protective of their family or anybody that they consider family especially children now you if you know me if you've been following me for a while from my other channel you know my background is in um working in the prison system and Obviously, I don't have any proof that any of the men in prison are Venus and Cancer people. I don't know why whenever I think of Venus and Cancer, I always think about how strongly these people feel about somebody harming a child. Like they're coming for you, like just point blank period. They don't play like these people don't play about children. Um, e even if they're not their own, but especially their own, they can be very overprotective in that way. It's not just about the nurturing and caring parts of um, a Venus and Cancer person, but they will fuck, like they'll fuck you up. Like I'm trying to find a nice way to say it because it's like, how do you 
put danger and violence in a Venus and Cancer video, bitch. Don't let their minds be in Cancer too. These people will murder you. Okay, this is. I'm just like it is what it is. Um. Um. These people. Um. Are really good about because Cancer rules the past. These people are really good at reminiscing um, and like um, memorabilia photos. They remember special days and times like uh, cookouts, um, uh, family reunions, um, because it's like, I relate this to the fact that um, Y'all know, again, if you've been following me for a really long time, you know, I have a very militant, Black, um, all about my Black people background. I relate this on a spiritual level to DNA. And if you know anything about DNA and melanin, we, that is all about your, your, your bloodline. You know, cancer rules the passing down of things from generation to generation when we get into wealth with the access of cancer and Capricorn and what it means to um, to make sure that your children are left here um, with something to live off of. You know, these are those kind of people like they look out for the people that they care about. They will hand you cash in money in hand if you say you needed it um in that way where I just feel like they have this connection this understanding in, within the DNA of the importance of knowing what it means to protect and secure somebody financially emotionally um these people need emotional connections and security and support like hugs and, and, you know, all that stuff like that too. It doesn't just have to be like um, the emotional attachment, but definitely like the physical part of that too, holding hands and, you know, all that stuff there. Like these people really, really get the importance of that on a level, like their waters run deep when it comes to that connection and understanding. Um, they are, they, this rules, you know, homeland, like where you're from, where you come from, your, again, your bloodline and generations passed down. This is your family tree. Okay. This is very, very important to understand. It's deeper than uh, what I care to get into at the moment. But if you know, you know, um, um, it also, cancer also rules your thought process and how you think and make decisions, much like Mercury. Um, these people are very private. Um, and again, not just emotional security and financial security, but actual security. <laughs> I have, I have um, a cancer son who has a stellium in cancer. I cannot make this shit up. Every time he comes here, he's that person who, like, he makes sure the door is locked. It's fucking hilarious to watch. I'm sorry, I'm laughing because I can literally see him just like pushing the door in and locking it. There's nothing wrong with my door. You can simply shut the door and lock it, and that's fine. But him, he's like, you know. And make sure he's like, he'll go around to all the windows in the house and make sure things are secure. Like, just a natural thing that cancer people do in general. Like they, at, cancer actually rules security, like locks and, um, you know, having a secure system for your house and things of that nature. So these people will do that. They will walk the perimeter. <laughs> I don't know why I think that's funny, but it is. Um, like you're safe in their home. And they are, and it's also about their privacy too, and keeping their family and the things that matter to them safe. You know, um, <laughs> I don't know why that's really funny to me. Um, these people crave emotional intimacy. I said that. Um, I said that they're looking for security when it comes to love. Those things are really, really important to them. Um, 
Now on a lower vibration, I usually tend to do the lowest vibrations first because I hate ending off on a bad note, but whatever, here we are. Um, on, on a lower vibration, these people can be possessive and um, emotionally manipulative. I don't know why I couldn't get out of my mind as I was writing the notes for this. I was thinking of Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> Oh, that sounds so fucked up. But if you do the astrology for like people who are most likely to murder, cancer is one of them. It's because they're emotionally unstable on a lower vibration. Um, it is not okay to build relationships based off of just emotions because that's what you rule. Okay. That's what you have all 12 signs in your chart. You need to know all of them and you need to learn the lessons of all of them um and you know if, if you've been listening to me for a while I'm going in on this because I I can't stress enough just because you're comfortable being the person that you are and it comes up and it shows in your chart doesn't mean that's where you're meant to be that is not the end of your story you are here to evolve to your highest self that means being um emotionally intelligent you know, when you start getting to the lower vibrations of this energy, you need help, right? You need to go speak to somebody. And I also think on a global level, this is a big problem for a lot of people. This is not just predicated to Venus and Cancer people. As somebody who has their sun and Mercury and Gemini in the house of Sagittarius, again, I'm all about the global and world perspective because I can see that. That's just what Gemini's do. I can put put all these pieces together. And I'm like, oh my God, this is so much bigger than personal astrology. So I always would say, check, read all the astrology because when you have a transit in Venus and Cancer, everybody's under, under the spell of Venus and Cancer energy and you are playing this out in that area of your life. What are you learning from that? It is important to do that because if you just... Only look at the personal astrology. You are in a loop. Now you're caught in a loop of a place, a person that you think that you're supposed to be, you're supposed to experience, and that's just life. Why would you think that? No, no, seriously. Can we talk about this from an honest perspective? Like, I can't begin to tell you how many people live their whole life without getting help. It's disgusting and it's really scary and will swear up and down that they're justified. And even some people will use astrology to say that, well, I'm a cancer. I know I've got this, these attributes in my child. Bitch, shut the fuck up and sit down and go learn something and pick up a fucking book. I'm sorry, I'm going on a tangent. I digress. But it's important, people. Um, it's your responsibility as a human, as an individual, to um, evolve as a person, okay? Like, I'm a, even though I know I'm a Gemini sun and a Libra rising and a Cancer moon, by the way, see, see, see? Um, I know... Today, because I've grown and and learned so much, Capricorn. But what anybody says, I'm more Capricorn today than I am any of those three signs that I just named. Because I've got discipline today. I've got some boundaries today. Um, and I'm not perfect. I'm not saying this because I'm perfect. That's a lie. <laughs> it's a lie. I'm not doing that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just trying to give an example of the importance of learning your whole entire chart and even pieces that may not belong to you because astrology comes from different perspectives. You have personal astrology, mundane astrology, locational astrology. And even though those things might not sound important to you, remember when I did, if, again, if you follow me a lot, I did the, um, uh, the North and South node and your mission your ego and God's plan for you, right? Hold on, let me stop this. Oh, 
And if you just live out the story uh, from your ego, from your perspective, because that's what you want to do, and you never elevate to the place of what God's plan has for you, you're living an unhappy life. But not because of God or spirit or don't be trying to blame anybody else. It's because you aren't taking the initiative to heal the things that you heal. And it might not even have anything to do with healing, but but the simple fact that you need to learn more, consume more, um, be curious, tap into your Gemini area of life um, and want to look into other things just because, and I'm not saying do it overload. There are going to be certain times in your life where specific things come up where you need to, you're going to feel challenged. And when you do that, you have to know, then that means, okay, um, if I'm blocked, if I'm experiencing any kind of blockages or something like that, the best way to get out of that is to learn, um, learn more, Whatever it is, it's not going to be the same for everybody. Everybody is going to have a different story, but it's always going to go back to the knowledge of who you are, even if that's outside of you. So literally, I can talk about this all day. I know people are going to get tired of hearing me say that, and I'm okay with that today. Um, but the lower vibrations of cancer people um, can be in love with their ex their first, it's usually typically typically they first, they never get over them. They don't. Just period. They don't. Um, um, these people also don't choose people over their looks. They they will be with people where you will be like, why the fuck are you dating that person? Like that person um is ugly. Um, but that's what they want because for them, this is um the true um foundations to get into somebody's core self and somebody who's going to love you for who you really are and that is the most important thing to them so they're willing to do that they're willing to sacrifice some looks over um you know getting true love or true emotional um connections um these people do not like women who dress provocative. They, they talk really bad about those people. I just want to put that out there. Um, they will watch you for a really long time, like on some stalker bullshit, but they're just careful with the people that they bring into their life because they know once they do that, they're never letting you go. Um, these people can be clingy and have attachment issues. Um... And yeah, the emotional manipulation is, I mean, I've never seen anybody so strategically, emotionally manipulative outside of a Scorpio. And a Scorpio really has to give a fuck because nine times out of 10, they wouldn't even waste their time with you. But a cancer? Oh, it's so unattractive. It's such an unattractive trait. Um, but these people are really good at making you feel bad for leaving them. They'll cry. They'll do the whole bit and act a damn fool, all that, um, just to keep you. And that's really sad. But, um, yeah. So, as usual, family, I didn't talk my whole life away. But I hope you found this information helpful. I love and appreciate you. Peace.